Hello, class 7. We dealt with matter in the last class. So, we'll today we will continue uh, with atoms. Okay. Now, we already know uh, what matter is. Matter is anything that has mass and occupy space. And there are three types of matter basically uh, solid, liquid and gas. And we talked about the arrangement of matter, arrangement of uh, molecules in the matter, in solid, liquid and gas in the last class, isn't it? In the solids, the molecules, they uh, are very closely uh, packed or very close to each other and the force of attraction between the molecules is very strong and so on. Uh, in the liquids, the force of attraction between the molecules is weak and therefore the, they have a larger intermolecular space and in the, liquid, uh, in the gases, the molecules are very far apart. Why? Because the force of attraction between the molecules is weak. So we talked about the molecules. Now today we will talk about atoms. Okay, an atom. Now let me tell you what an atom is. An atom is a is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. Okay, so it is the smallest particle of an element which takes part in the chemical, which cannot be divided any further. So, and many atoms or two or more atoms combine two or more atoms combine to form the molecules. The small molecules is the smallest particle of uh, a substance of matter with independent existence. Whereas atom, they cannot, they may or may not be uh, able to exist independently. Some of the atoms of different, ele uh, some elements, they exist independently and some of them, they combine to form molecules of the same of their respective elements okay so this looks like an atom looks like this okay you must have seen the solar system you must have heard about the solar system isn't it in the center of the solar system we have the sun and around the sun we have the planets revolving around the sun the planets different planets revolve around the sun in a particular path, in a fixed path called orbit. Okay, so over here also in the atom also, <coughs> atom is the smallest particle in, of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. So this is the structure of carbon atom. This is carbon atom. Okay, now in the center, it is like a solar system. In the center of the solar system, we have the sun. Over here, we have the nucleus. We have the nucleus. N-U-C-L-E-U-S, nucleus. So, nucleus is the heaviest part of an atom. It comprises of, it is made up of protons and neutrons. So, before that, we talked about protons and neutrons and so on and so forth. We first talk about the three subatomic particles of an element. Okay. The three subatomic particles of an element are the first one is electron. Okay. It is symbolized by E minus. Electron E minus. Then we have proton P plus and we have the neutron symbolized by the letter N. Now as, this, uh, as you can see the signs here, electron is symbolized by E minus and electron <coughs> is negatively charged. So, Protons positively charged, neutrons are neutral. It does not have any charge. So, and in an atom, the central part is known as the heaviest part is known as the nucleus. 
the heaviest part of an atom is the nucleus and nucleus is com comprises of protons and neutrons protons do not have sorry uh, protons are positively charged but neutrons are do not have any charge they are chargeless in uh, in fact the charge of the entire nucleus as you can see because of the protons it is positively charged it is positively charged all right now around the nucleus around the nucleus we have very 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 light particles which are negatively charged and they are called electrons they are called electrons so electrons they uh, revolve around revolve around the nucleus with a very high speed in a fixed path called orbit or we call it shell we call it orbit or shell so this is orbit or we call it shell we call it shell it is a fixed path <coughs> the electrons follow to revolve around the nucleus in a very high speed and they are also called energy levels we also uh, we call it energy levels also now in an atom we got to remember that the number of electrons in this case there are one two three four five six electrons all right there are six protons inside the nucleus in other words in an atom the number of electrons is equal is always equal to the number of protons so the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons that comprises the atomic number that comprises that means it is the atomic number this is called the atomic number atomic number means it is either the number of electrons or the number of protons in an atom now different elements they have different atomic numbers so elements are different due to the difference in the at like uh, like for example hydrogen atomic number of hydrogen the lightest element is one but uh, let us talk about uh, <coughs> oxygen atomic number of oxygen is a both of them are gases non metals uh, atomic number of uh, hydrogen is one okay atomic number of hydrogen is one hydrogen one and oxygen is atomic number is it so that means in an atom of hydrogen we have only one electron and one proton whereas in the atom of oxygen we have atomic number is eight so we have eight electrons and eight protons this is the diagram of the of an atom of carbon whose atomic number is six why because there are six electrons one two three four five and six similarly there are six protons isn't it so please remember that the uh, number of electrons in an atom is always equal to the uh, number of protons and that means the number of protons mean it is the atomic number of an element different elements will have different atomic numbers so elements are different because of the number of they have different number of electrons so the property of an atom depends upon the number of electrons please remember this it's very very important so the characteristic property of an atom is determined by the atomic number or the number of electrons okay so different elements will have different atomic numbers all right that's very important for you to remember now the next one is we come to the nucleus as i told you the nucleus is the heaviest part of an atom it's like the sun in the solar system which is for the centrally located and it is it is made up of protons and neutrons together 
protons are positively charged and the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Now there is a force of attraction between the electrons which are negatively charged and the positively charged proton or the nucleus. The nucleus as a whole is positively charged because of the protons. So we also call it the nuclear charge. The charge of the protons is also known as the nuclear charge, the charge of the nucleus. Why? Because it all depends upon the number of protons. And there is always a force of attraction between the electrons and the protons. In the different uh, electrons in the different energy levels or shell or orbit, different <coughs> electrons and different shells will always be attracted by the protons in the nucleus. So, in other words, it is attracted towards the nucleus. That's why the electrons, they when they revolve, they do not go away from its orbit. Why? Because there is a force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron. All right. So, that is all about an atom that you got to remember in, uh, in class 7. And uh, we will talk about <coughs> the electronic configuration. We will talk about the atomic number, the mass number in the next class. Okay. But for now, uh, please remember what an atom is. Of, of course, you can always refer to your book or uh, in, the, in the next class, I, I'm going to uh, provide you with the notes on atom. Okay, the diagram, I'll, I'm going to post it uh, maybe this Friday and I'm going to post uh, uh, notes on, a simple note, notes on atom. So I hope uh, you've, uh, you understood what an atom is today. All right, so we will continue the, uh, the, this chapter in the next class. So thank you very much.